Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all hard is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And today I have a special athletic finisher build for you guys. Now I have created a lot of athletic finisher builds for you guys. And the last one I created, it had Vince Carter with the New Jersey Nets. But this one right here has Vince Carter with the Toronto Raptors. I know a lot of people would love to see that. So once I came across Vince Carter with the Raptors, it was over with, man. I didn't do no more tweaking, but I left it how I had it, and it turned out to be a really, really good build, okay? So with this athletic finish, it's a little bit different. I have the highest three-point shot that you can get with the athletic finish, which is an 84. If you take it to an 85, of course, it will change the name of the build, so I wanted to make sure you guys had that. Of course, we have those elite contact dunk, big driving dunk on this build. We have crazy ball handles, so you will be able to get your own shot. And we will have an all-around bill. So let's go ahead and put the bill at small four. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. And as you guys can see, for this bill, we are going six foot nine, 191 on the weight, seven five wingspan, built by the shape. Let's get into the bill. We're gonna start with one of the best parts of the bill, which is the finishing, right? Most people say athletic finisher. Well, as a matter of fact, we're gonna start with the shooting, all right? Because when most people see this bill name, athletic finisher, they're gonna bag off you. They're going to say, oh, he can't do nothing but finish. Leave him open. Make him shoot. Make him shoot. But guess what? You got an 84 three-point shot. If you make me shoot with this bill, it's going to be over with for you because an 84 three-point shot will guarantee that you make a lot of shots on this game. That's if you can shoot. And if you get your jump shot from you, boy, boy. For the mid-range shot, we're going to go ahead and take that to a 76. For the free throw, we're going to have a 79. This is what I was talking about. So once I was able to get Vince Carter name, I didn't change anything, so I left the uh, the free throw the same. I left everything the same because I wanted this card to stay in the shades up. I'm pretty sure I can tweak it a little bit more if I just go in there and really just, you know, just go in for it. But, you know, I didn't want to waste too much time on the build because you got everything that you need to be a great athletic finisher. So I would use Am Claymore, corner specialist, green machine, catch and shoot, of course. Now, let's get into the finishing, right? Uh, you already know you can finish, so that's not even a secret. So, we're going to take the driving dunk to 94, right? Uh, you get an extra badge at 94, that's why I did it, okay? And that will allow us to get gold posterizer, as you guys can see. And we also get gold slithery, gold limitless takeoff, and we will get gold fillish as well. We're going to take that driver layup to an 8. Well, we don't get gold. We get, I think we get silver. Yeah, we get silver fillish, which I think that's good, too. We got a 76 close shot. We got an 80 driving layup. We also have a 75 standard dunk, which is not bad. Okay. To get gold fillers, I know you guys probably want that. You have to have an 84 close shot or 87 driving layup. And as you can see, we don't have either of those. And we have 20 total finishing badges, right? So on the last Vince Carter bill, I did gold bully, you know, which a lot of people like gold bully, but I don't necessarily think bully is worth taking your, you know, just taking your strength up super, super high. Unless you like to play that way, you know, I'd rather have that on something else. That's just my personal preference, okay? So, I would use Fast Twist, Rise Up. That's 11. We'll go with Posterizer. That's uh, 18, okay, which is not bad. We'll go with Fearless. That would be 22. Limitless Takeoff. That would be 27. And that would be 30 with Slithery. We got 20. We need 10. We get plus 7 right here with Posterizer. And we'll need about 3 extra badges. Now, if you want Drop Step or a Bag Down Punisher, Dream Shake, which I think Dream Shake is really, really good, um, I would add some extra badges on this bill. But let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, all right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody named Mama can see this video. And I need everybody named Mama to see this video, so do that for your boy, boy. Speed with ball, we're going to take that to a 75. Ball handle is 87 that's maxed out. Pass accuracy, we're going to get that to a 75. And we do get 20 total playmaking badges, right? And, of course, I would use Anchor Breaker. We're going to break some anchor with this bill. You got an 87 ball handle. Now, if you can't cook up with this bill, man, you need to go play center or something like that because you will be able to cook up with this bill with no problem, man. Hyperdrive is a great badge to have to it. And as it says, it increases the speed at which a player can perform moving dribble moves as they attack down court, down the court. Okay, and that's, that's a very important badge. I would also use um, a quick first step. Very important when driving out of triple threat. So after the size up, ball handles have access to quicker and more effective launches. We want that, okay? And we would also use clam break. So once you get somebody on your hip or whatever, man, you're going to fight off that contact and get to the rim easy. And given the fact that you have that 94 driving dunk, you have some strength on this build, and you have clam breaker, come on, man. It's going to be hard to stop this build. 
We would also use handle for days. And as you see, it does tell you a player takes less of an energy hit when performing consecutive dribble moves. A lot of people do that. Allowing them to chain together combos quicker and for longer periods of time. So we need that badge too. And with those 20, I think you will be able to do what you need to do. Once you're able to court tier 3 badge like clamp break on goal, you'll get a plus 7, so you'll be at 27. But let's get into the defense, right? Now, on all of the athletic finishes that I make on the channel, I really don't have a lot to say about their defense because it's not all that good because simple things will change the name of these builds right you can't take the perimeter defense up up too high you can't take steel up too high it's a lot of stuff that you can't do with these athletic finisher names that's why a lot of people don't have them because they already know if they can't play defense in the first place then why make a build with lower defense i'm not saying you don't have any defense but the defense is a little bit lower because of the name for the interior defense we're going to take that to a 67 and you know that's cool or, or whatever but we are doing to get those extra badges and it's going to go up anyway once we take the block up for the perimeter defense we're going to take that to a 78 like i was telling you guys you can't take it up too high because you will change the name of the bill so if you want to change the name of the bill go ahead and take it up i totally totally understand it's fine with me and a lot of people are going to say the bill is trash or whatever but it depends on who is controlling the bill okay the person controlling the bill will make the bill okay it's, it's just that simple so for the steel, we're going to take that up to a 78 as well. We do want silver intercept that we get that tier 2. We also get glove. You can use that if you want to. It's totally up to you. But at least we do get clamps on this build. At least we get silver interceptor. For the block, we can't take the block up too high. I tried. They're going to change the name of the build. We do have an 81 block. They give me an extra badge at 81. So I left it at 81. Okay. On the rebound, I didn't worry too much about that. You had small for it. So well, at least we do have a 70 to get rebound chases. Just in case you want to use it. And we have a 65 on the defensive rebound. As you can see, we do get 21 total finish. I mean, uh, defensive badges on this build. Me personally, I would use rebound, chase a pogo, anchor. That's 15. We'll go with chase down artists on gold. That's 20. Intercept on silver. That's 24. Clamps on on bronze. That's 27. We'll also go with box on let's say bronze to silver, and that will be let's say 29. And uh, glove, if you want to use that, that's about 30. So you got 21 now. You'll need you'll get a plus five. That will be 26. And you can take some of the rebirth badges and add it to the defense if you want to use all the badges that I just called out. Most people probably won't use rebound taste on this build. That's fine. That'll take away five badges or whatever. But look at the combination. 20, 20, 20, and 21. Not bad. I did try to get 20 badges per category for this build on purpose. Okay? For the acceleration, is an 80. Speed is an 80. Uh, strength is a 60. And the vert is an 82. And the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these takeovers. So... We have uh, finishing, shot creating, sharp shooting, and playmaking. Okay, playmaking. We just choose something for the video. Are you ready? Because I do not click bait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, we do have shades of Vince Carter right there. And we ain't worried about the other two. We got Vince Carter, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, you can go tweak it up whatever you want to. We got the athletic finisher. That's the bill. Love the video. Like the video. Whatever you want to do, man. I'm out of here. Chat!